string. So I'm going to go A, A7, D, D7, A, A7, D, D7. This is going to be one of my favourite Guthrie track videos. It's from quite a while ago. And he does this great little exercise moving from the one to the four chord and repeating down the neck and it demonstrates how the flat seven and the major third are directly related and how this can help you with lead guitar. Let's check out the whole video and then we'll go through it slowly with tablature. But here's another great exercise. If I'm going in, in, in the key of A, this is a great exercise. I'm just going to go one to the one seven, four to the four seven, and back. We're going to go one four, one four, one four, all the way down the neck. So you can see where this uh, flat seven and major third are directly related to each other in, in playing over the chord changes. So um, here's A. I'm working out of my A position here. And I'm just do, we're just going to be on the B, G, and D string. So I'm going to go A, A7, D, D7, A, A7, D, D7, A, A7, D, D7. Back. But. Right, so <clears throat> it's on just the D, G, and B strings, so we need to think of our triads moving up and down the neck. So we've got the D, G and B, and we're going from the one chord, which in, the, in this is gonna be A. So we're starting A, and then it goes to the four chord, which is D. But we go to A7 first, so it goes A, A7 to D. Then it's D, D7, back to A. And then it repeats that process right up, right up the neck until you can't go any further. So it starts off with this A triad, So I've got the tabs here on screen and I'll put this on my Patreon page so you can download the, the PDFs for these tabs and the video will be there as well. So we've got this, we've got this A major triad. And I'm not going to go into each note and how they're fretted, you can look at the tabs. You know, if you don't know your major triads and dominant seven chords, you might want to do a bit of research before you you know, do this video and just, you know, at least get your chord shapes down. So we've got A major. And then to turn that into A7, we're going to take the root, which is the G string, and we're going to walk it down a whole step, and then that is the flat 7. So we've gone from A... to A7. And now that flat seven that you walk down, the note behind that is the major third of the four chord. So it's the major third of D. And then we play that D triad and we do the same thing again. We walk down from the root a whole step. create a D7 triad. So we've done exactly the same thing. So what this does now, so before when you went from A to D, it was going like from the one to the four. And when you go D, now you're on D and it goes back to A, it's like going one to the five. So what happens now, that flat seven, we walk in the opposite direction. Takes us back to A. So that flat seven, either way, has took us to the major third of our next chord. So again, A, flat seven. We just have to reposition our fingers. Then we've got D major, D seven. A major, that's coming out of this C form. 
Then we want to turn this to eight, into A7, so we do the same again. We take the root and we walk it down a whole step and these two, these two notes remain. So that's A7. It's coming from this shape. Then we're taking the third out of that triad there. So we've got this shape. And then from A7, we're gonna to go to D major now. So remember that flat seven, we go down a half step. It takes us into the major third of D major from this triad. And now the process, we're back to how we started here at A, but we're now here on D. So we're gonna do them same changes all the way down. So there's D major. So we take the root of D major. got D7 and now that flat 7 comes back up this way and takes us to A major and then we walk down that root to the flat 7 to give us A7 and then that flat 7 will come up one and it'll go to D major coming from our C shape and then we walk down that root and then we, where our first finger is we bring that up one that takes us into the third of A so I'll play through the whole thing slowly so you can see and hear this and that you know what you want to get to is you can see that flat seven moving around and this will help you with lead guitar moving around between the one four and the five chord so A major always good to slide into that major third because it sounds nice. Let me do it one more time, really slow. A major. A7. D major. D7. A major. A7. So if I go over this really basic in A minor pentatonic, say you're playing sort of bluesy stuff in the key of A, and you get to the root of A, you walk down to the flat seven, the note behind it is the major third of the four chord. And then you go to the flat seven of the four chord and you can come straight back into major third of the one and then behind the root of the one is the major third of the five chord and then the flat seven of the five chord is the root of the four chord and then behind that is the major third of the one
any questions or comments please you know just leave them down below I'll try and answer everything <clears throat> Like I said, this is an amazing video by Guthrie. He goes into a lot more in this video. Like I said, I'll link it below and I'll link his channel. His, some of his old videos are amazing. I should check them all out. So cheers and I'll see you real soon.